is King. In March of 1985, King was leading the NBA in scoring at 33 points a game. The Knicks were barely in the playoff hunt when disaster struck versus the Kansas City Kings. But our King has 37 points, a minute and 34 remaining. It took me many years to watch that footage. And back the other way is Reggie Fields. Look out, King hurt himself as he gave the foul. You could hear the crack. It was like a gun sound. That was devastating. You know, my heart stopped, and I think everybody else's heart on the bench stopped. So I'll never forget it. My trainer closed the door, and I heard him burst out into tears. The diagnosis confirmed King's worst fears: torn cartilage, a broken bone, and a torn ACL total reconstructive knee surgery, and years of rehab just to recover basic function. According to doctors, King's career was essentially over, but Bernard had other plans. I'm going to play. My heart, my heart, this heart of Bernard King will bring me back. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Fort Greene. I made it all the way here, all the way from there. If I can do that, I can handle this. Today, I can say I will resume my career with the New York Knicks. And I intend to play for many years to come. Nobody had ever come back and to be the same type of player from that type of injury. And he took that as motivation, and he isolated himself really in his rehab. He worked out feverishly to try and get his game back, and he did it in seclusion. Would not allow any media, would not allow Nick executives. It was like a New York mystery. Word never got out about those workouts.